and I'm afraid I'm going to have to leave at that point. I have another interview coming along. Thank you so much, Professor. Do you mind answering question 21 before you go, the last one, 21? Eight. It's William 20. Patterson. 21. William Patterson, because we spoke about Wittgenstein before. So I'd be interested to know his thoughts on Kripkenstein's problem of the rule-following paradox. Well, actually, I've written about it about 35 years ago, but the essential point is a misunderstanding of the notion of rule and rule-following that is pervasive in the philosophical literature extreme in Wittgenstein, Kripke took it over. It's just a misunderstanding of the rules of the notion rule of language. So the model that's basically used is something like traffic signals, stop on red, you know, uh, don't turn left on red. That's a rule that we're aware of and that we can think about and follow, or we can violate. You can go through a red light, okay? Lang rules of language aren't like that at all. Uh, so there's, let's take a concrete example. Let's say, uh, 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 John stole many books from the library. Okay. Many books were stolen from the library. Both of them can mean that the library should have more guards so that people won't be stealing books from it. Just a lot of books that John is stealing. Suppose I say many books are easy to steal from the library. Doesn't have that meaning. Many books mean some specific books. Maybe the, the books on biology. Those are easy to steal. Totally different meaning. Well, that we know that. And we know it following rules. The rules are unconscious can't introspect into them. They're only beginning to be understood, in fact. Turns out an intricate interaction of uh, principles of computational efficiency and certain properties of language interact to yield these results. Those are rules of language, kind of like the rules of vision that say uh, you get a couple of uh, stimulations on your retina from stochastic eye mo movements and you see a person. Okay, that's following the rules. That's what the rules of language are like. They're just parts of theories of explaining the nature of, uh, in this case, our language system. That's not what Wittgenstein had in mind. That's not what Kripke had in mind. So the kind of problems they raise just don't arise. They're talking about some other kind of system that has nothing to do with language, vision, or other bi biological properties. And that's pervasive in philosophy of language, just as the assumption that there's a notion of reference is pervasive. And it's very, it's leading in all the wrong directions, in my opinion. So I don't, I simply don't think these questions arise. Thank you, sir. Have a great day. Yeah. Take care.